pre-induction here and today I'm gonna process the ceramic uh, ITs, EPROMs see that with the windows before a long time I try to process these but I some something I messed up and uh, now I will definitely try to do that right on the right way so this is not a gold EPROM this is ceramic silver EPROM you see that they don't contain a gold bonding wire inside it's aluminium bonding wire and it got some silver brazing sometimes silver but I think there maybe it's some palladium and right now I will process this so the legs legs is just cover and uh, I think it's a nickel plated but I need to check that on silver this time I will process only the middle the middle part with the silver brazing okay so first I will crack that and remove the leg okay Okay guys, so I finished cracking this EPROMs and of course you don't need to crack, just can remove this, this paper and you will see is there brazing inside or not. For me it's much easier to just hit them with a the hammer and not peel off this sticker, okay. The first problem, two pound of EPROMs only this little amount we are gonna process in this test why we have only this have a brazing see that we search for the chip we have brazing inside not these and these we have a lot of these the silicon die 
in the middle of the chip here is not uh, glued with a brace of metal it's glued with uh, just a glue and this is worthless so this go to junk see that glue and this for the brazing it's very good so I'm gonna process that for silver and palladium I already cut the extra ceramic because I won't spend a little a less nitric acid for this step okay and of course this is a junk this is a junk for now because I got some sample of this leg clean leg and I'm gonna process this just to see if there for any case some silver on that leg or maybe some other metal okay but this is our main material but you see if you see this in this part maybe about only 20 percent is uh, with a silver brazing and the rest 80 percent is uh, just worthless with the glue okay okay let's put that in the acid and see what kind of metal is in the middle okay cool Hey guys, sorry about the wind, it's a nasty day, uh, nitric acid is dissolved mostly of the these brays, but if you see around the silicon dies, couple of brays has more metal like these and uh, even when I hot this, it's not dissolve everything. If you see that, I got a brace like a little foil. See, right here. It's the same like little foil. So I think this is not silver, not a palladium. See, right there. They remove from the ceramic and like foil. This is, I think, 
some mix. I will see that right now. Okay, you see that? They remove the same like uh, foil and pretty tough foil. So I will add more that I will add it more to the heat, okay? To remove everything like foil. Okay guys, so this will be a very fun test uh, and uh, you see a lot of that uh, ceramic EEPROM uh, don't contain uh, braze at all and it's actually it's not uh, worth anything for uh, recovery, any precious metal, so it's just a waste. Uh, if you have a buyer, you can try to sell that, uh, but for me it's very hard, very hard here. And uh, for recovery, noble metal, ceramic EEPROM are uh, useless uh, if you don't have a braze inside uh, under the silicon die. Uh, the leg, it's actually from Kovar, so from Kovar, so the leg don't, don't uh, have any precious metal. You see on the test that stainless test not show any precious metal. Not palladium, not platinum, not gold, not anything, not silver. Uh, but the braze contain sometimes only silver and sometimes contain uh, palladium. What makes me wonder is uh, that that uh, nitric acid don't remove a braze from oil chip. Uh, because uh, that palladium is not pure palladium it's actually probably it's a mix with some other metal and uh, that uh, other metal uh, uh, stop nitric acid to dissolve palladium okay uh, because on the test i have very very positive uh, reaction on palladium when i dissolve that uh, foil which is left after a nitric uh, part of the chip in uh, nitric acid and remove silver, okay? Probably it's actually 
test show uh, black uh, black color for palladium and I got a little purple uh, on the side that uh, so I think that uh, this brace it's actually a mix from palladium and little part of gold so that the problem is why uh, that foil don't dissolve in nitric acid uh, of course amount of the chip which I have is uh, too small to I make some serious recovery so I have a little amount of silver chloride and uh, I got very pure pure one and I solution with the palladium and very very little gold inside uh, so you see that that from two pound uh, chip I have only maybe uh, I don't know maybe 20% uh, chip with a brace and other just worthless so you need a lot of that chip to make a serious recovery but it's actually pretty worth and I think that if you have access to a large amount this stuff should give you very very good uh, result for uh, palladium and uh, silver and some gold recovery okay guys uh, I talk about this chip which I test today not uh, about chip EPROMs with a gold brace is a definitely a different story this is a white brace so this chip contains silver this chip contains palladium and of course some little gold okay see you around guys in some next video I hope you like this video I hope you like my tests uh, subscribe to my channel share my video like uh, that helped me to grow my channel and put some comment down below and you can support me on other platform library BitTube, and the brave browser and of course if you are in the crypto world you can make some donation the wallet address for uh, Bitcoin Ethereum and the library coin is down there in the description and uh, of course I will see you in the next video I will do some other fun stuff okay Cheers, friends,